Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to this card making technique. Today we're going to be making the paper rosette sentiment that is in the middle of the rose wreath card that you've already maybe seen. If you haven't seen, I'll put a link on onto this demonstration. So this is what we're going to be making and it's really, really simple, really easy. Once you see it, you're going to be using all your scraps up to be able to do it. Trust me. So the first thing you're going to need is a circle of card. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just so that you can get a close up. So the next thing you're going to need are some paper strips. Now we've looked at these before and I'm going to give you the measurements just so that you know roughly what they are and they are let's have a look 210 millimeters long and they are half a centimeter wide now the amount that you need is completely up to you however i would say that you probably need maybe a dozen strips and then you fold it in half you cut it in half you fold them in half again and this would be a good one to use if you've got lots of bits of ribbon left um, it doesn't have to be this length or width once I've shown you what how to do it You'll be able to use it and play about with it and use whatever you've got left and then tweak it to what you want to do. So the next thing is, now you've cut these in half, we're going to literally make a loop. I'm just going to get some glue and pop a little bit on my wax paper. So we're going to make a loop. I'm going to dip one end into the glue and fold it over to make a ribbon loop like that. And you're going to go on and make lots and lots of those ribbon loops like this. As I said, there's no point me saying, oh, you need to make 30 because the circle of cards you use might be bigger, it might be smaller. It's just the case of using the one that you think fits your sentiment. So what I next do is I add a circle of glue around my circle of card. And then I start taking, oops, throwing it in it. I start taking my ribbon loops and I always start top and bottom and now I'm looking through the lens of a camera so I need to try and get them the same length hanging over the card. And I think that looks about right. So I do top and bottom and then I do the sides like that and then I literally go in to the centres, trying to keep the same distance hanging over the card for all of these. And I fill one entire layer with all the paper ribbons, like that. So it will build up. Next, then I add a second layer and I'm just going to add a little bit more glue obviously you'll be more in control of your glue and the amount you put on so then the next layer I've just add the paper ribbons a little bit further in from the first layer so it's literally going inwards a little bit covering that glue and building up all the way around just until 
we've got two rows of ribbons like this beauty of film you see here's one I made earlier so you leave it to dry once you've got everything on as it were if you wanted you could keep going to make um, a half pom-pom however for this for going back to the rose wreath card this is what we did for the sentiment and I literally popped the sentiment into the middle of the ribbons to be able to create that effect like that and I think it is a really cool way to use up all your scraps and to make something that's really pretty and will go on projects, card making, scrapbooking, anything like that now I'd like to thank you very much for watching this technique if you've enjoyed it please give me the thumbs up below if you've got any comments any queries any questions please don't hesitate to contact me if you want to subscribe to my channel to be notified of any of the new demonstrations or tutorials that to do please do so and I shall thank well thank you for watching and I shall see you again next time